Okay, this is how you play Skeleton Bones by McCafferty. So first, I'm gonna go over the rhythm. He uses this rhythm for the whole song, even you know with the different chord changes. It is, well, how I do it is one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and so it's kind of like a. And that is just one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. The last two notes are closer together, so it could be one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. But the last two notes are closer together. And that's the rhythm. He uses that through the whole song. You can listen to it and um, try to get your own rhythm. This is what I suggest doing, but that's just what I use. And for first chord is a E power chord, which is open E, second fret A. And then he goes to a G sharp, which is 4th fret E, 6th uh, fret A, and then to an A power chord, which is 5th fret E, 7th fret A. Okay, and on the E, he plays the strumming two times, then when he gets to G once, and A once, and then back to E. So I'll play that. that a couple times until he gets to the until he gets to where when McCafferty says um she says oh my body once he gets there he changes the strumming I mean I'm not strumming the um chords to a C sharp which is 4th fret A 6th fret E uh, D so 4th fret A 6th fret D then to an A power chord 5th fret E 7th fret A then to an E, open E, second fret A, then S, and then to a B, which is second fret A, four fret D. And it's the same strumming pattern, he only plays it once on each chord. that for that part until he gets to the part where he goes these bones when he gets there he goes back to the first chord progression E G sharp A and plays that over again and then after playing that part he, he gets back to she says oh my body where you then again play C sharp A E D and he, after playing that one more time when he says these bones the um, second time, the, you know, the very next time, he, instead of going back to an E, he goes to an F sharp, which is second fret E, fourth fret A, to an E, open E, second fret A, to an A, fifth fret E, seventh fret A, then to a G sharp, fourth fret E, sixth fret A, and same strumming pattern still. And then you should get to the part where he goes, what, uh, uh, when you get to that part, what he's doing is F sharp to an E, to an A, to an E. And he, yeah, he only plays that for a while when he's doing the what, uh, so it's... To, I never told you how much I need you. He goes and plays F sharp, E, A, G again. So you know the same thing we just played uh, before the whoa part. And then the second 
time he goes, I never told you how much I need you, he goes to the C sharp, A, the, the um, part we played earlier. So. And that's the last change of the chord progression. And you play that for the rest of the song. He goes back to the Oh My Body part for the last bit is what he plays. Oh my, um. And he ends the whole, and he ends the whole song on the C sharp, which is, you know, 4 fret E, 6 fret A, I mean, 4 fret A, 6 fret B. And that is the whole song. I hope I explained it okay. I messed up a couple parts. This is a kind of a long song. Um, again, strumming pattern, just listen to the song. I probably changed it a couple times myself. I, it's not really like set in stone. Just play along with the song, whatever you feel. Um, I got Sublime on, Sublime on today. Love that band. And um, all right, yeah, that's it. Bye.